I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. What's up, mother? How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the CJRT Podcast with your two hosts, Jill Sapula. And Chandler Kozlovich. What is up, everybody? God damn, I have missed being in this studio and talking random crap into this microphone. And wow. I have missed the bestest bestie that I could ever think of st- sitting right in front of me. Aw, oh, you love me. I, that, that is a fact. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we, uh, of course, we, we were planning on a show, and this whole time we've been stalling on what to talk about. We just threw all of our plans out of the water, and literally, we're pulling all of our topics out of our butt at this point. <laughs> But again, that's kind of how we do our show, really, because we don't really have a whole lot of shows to talk about because Ruby still is not in their ninth season just yet. But we have um, Bad Batch, and there's a new one on Disney Plus right now that is What If from Marvel Studios. Which is awesome, by the way. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's only been one episode, but it's already amazing. Yeah, but before we continue on with any more... Uh, with before we continue on with more of the show, I just want to let you know if you like seeing what we post on Instagram, we greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't been on Instagram and seen what we post, well, you should go check it out. We are at CJRT Media. Go give us a follow and go ahead and like any pictures that we do post. And we're also on YouTube as well for CJRT Media. Go check out all the previous videos that we've done in the past and. Last week, if you tuned in last week, uh, what I had posted our uh, virtual show that we did back in June when Jill wasn't here. And after hearing it, you know, I feel like it wasn't a bad show, but I feel as if, you know, I, I, it's just how do some of these other people like do these virtual shows? You know, it's. It's probably because they're a little bit more better prepared for it than the two sure. of us. <laughs> yeah, we, it, we literally threw that in, like, probably maybe, like, within a half hour. Let's so. be honest, we throw everything in at the very last minute. We yeah. do not take the time to yeah, but properly if, edit everything to its maximum core. Yeah, but if you... For all of you locals out there that, of course, if you are in our area, you know, and, like, we... Because we, we broadcast from New Boston... Over the past couple of days, we've had to deal with power outages, internet outages. Uh, Down th- wires everywhere. Yeah, I mean, the our studio hasn't... We, we've still had everything, so yeah, we, were the lu- we were the lucky part here. But I know parts of Romulus and a couple parts in Taylor, they didn't have any power. Um, Jail, of course, you just told me today you didn't have any internet. And Yeah, no. The storm hit us on Wednesday, right? Right. The funny thing is that I never lost power, despite the fact that a bunch of power lines are down. <laughs> but, like, there's this, uh, there's this one power line down my road. It's literally snapped in half, but the trees and the actual cable lines are holding it up. Like, insert picture. But, no, um... That, that, I mean, that just sounds kind of... Yeah. Very dangerous, to be it, honest with you. It's a miracle that nothing broke, and it's a miracle that we still have power. Like, we have all that, but we don't have cable, and we also don't have internet. So I've been completely, like, offline for, like, a week, and I hate it so much. Because not going to lie, I am very much addicted to TikTok. I go into a TikTok trance, and I think, like, all of my data goes straight to TikTok. Like, you know how your phone gives you, like, a weekly percentage of how much time you spent on it? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like, literally, my percentage is going to be down by, like, 40% because I have no internet and I can't watch anything. <laughs> well, I mean, it's th- really, like, honestly, I don't have any comments with that part, though, because I've not, I mean, I, I have not had issues on that just yet. So, I've been okay myself, but over the past couple of days, I know my brother, who's in Romulus, he... He didn't have power, and we had to take his, our generator over to his house. And I, I, really, to be honest, right now, I don't know if he has power still. I, I looked at the outage map today, and I mean, there's still people without power. So chances are, he probably doesn't have any power. There were a good amount of lines that were down. I was sent on call because once again, I work for the fire department. I got sent on a bunch of calls. We averaged about thirty calls just after the storm happened, and it ended around I don't know four, five o'clock. In the morning? Uh, no, in the afternoon. Because ah. the storm started around, like, I think, what, 3? And it didn't last that long. But right after it let up, we had an all-call, which is when every firefighter in the department has to come in and 
uh, get on the clock and start going around because it was absolute havoc that day. I bet. I mean, I know that night I saw you at your one location. I know I texted you that. <laughs> I was like, hey, that's Jill. I, I mean, yeah. I really to be honest, if I ever see a fire truck around in uh, New Boston, I know really, I, I know that's you. I mean, you could be, I mean, I, I could tell you're there. And yeah, even after a less. storm, I probably only seen you maybe twice that one time when um it was on 275 and I, I think it was like a moped or something that went yeah. into the ditch. It was a, a very bad car accident. I know, uh, we... You saw me, you, you passed me up on the highway <laughs> while I was on the scene and then you passed me up again on that last call because that call was actually my last call of the night mm -hmm. and it was two downed wires both of them were still live and active mm -hmm. and they were burning up the place that... the problem is that we couldn't do anything about it because dte wasn't around no mm. well, we should I mean... probably edit that out because i probably should not be talking about that <laughs> why who cares it doesn't matter <laughs> the federal government does <laughs> oh not federal government okay uh we'll see about that one yeah we'll but... just edit that out later yeah we'll see about that anyway uh to continue on, of course, one thing I can mention, though, is the Star Wars Bad Batch season finale was last night, and Jill, have you seen it? No, because by the time it came out, I was still out of internet. Sure. Wait, no, it came out yesterday, didn't it? Because yesterday yeah. was Friday? Yeah. Yeah, no, no internet. Hmm. I'm probably going to watch it tonight while I'm here, because, once again, I have no internet <laughs> at my house. That's fair. But, no, honestly, go ahead and talk about it, because I've seen already so many spoilers. Well, I mean... Even though I saw it last night, I I mean, I, I paid attention to it and stuff. It's just come the next day, it's like, okay, I've seen it, but what did I really know? And I mean, like, like what do I remember from it? I mean, I don't know a whole ton. I mean, I know a few of the uh, characters and stuff. I mean, like Omega and Hunter and... You, you obviously know about the Batch, right? Yeah, I know who they are. But it's just because the whole, you know, that city that's in the storm... In the water, I think. Camino. Yeah, it got, it got destroyed. Completely obliterated. Yeah. Poor so, Kevin Owens. Yeah, and poor Omega too, cause she, she knew everything about it too. That's, which isn't a bad thing. I think there was one line where they said like Omega was older than the guys who were in the batch. That's kind of, I I I, like I said, I can't be for sure if that was one hundred percent. I mean, it just sounds like it. Well, yeah, but... because in episode fifteen, when she snuck them into the city, and into the Kim and Owen city, mm -hmm. um, she said that this is where Clone Force ninety nine was created, and she said I was there. So I'm guessing yeah. she probably is because she, unlike the rest of the clones, she's unaltered. She has original genetic clone. Sure. Uh, so nothing about her is different from the rest. Actually, wait, no, I rephrase that. She's different from the rest of them because one, she has no alter genomes. Two, she has no accelerated growth rate. Three, she's a female, despite the fact that her uh, biological father, I guess, Django Fett, was a man. Mm -hmm. And all the rest of the clones yeah. are also male. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give that one. Um, but that's the only thing I know right now with Bad Batch. Um, the next thing that I mentioned too was also with um, the What If from Marvel Studios. Of course, I only watched half, I mean, I watched half of it today. I'm probably going to watch more of it later. But uh, Jill, like, what do you think? Uh, I think it was pretty cool. There were a few bits and pieces that I didn't like about it and how inconsistent it was with the actual movie. Sure. But the majority of it was actually consistent. But I actually, I watched it while I was at work because, again, no internet. And uh, it was very enjoyable. I kept, I lost my shit watching Peggy literally just grow into this seven foot tall woman, fully bulked up and absolutely loving the shield. And it was just so funny seeing her reaction to her strength and her abilities and what she can do. And it was just so funny. And Howard Stark was totally mm -hmm. hilarious. And Steve Rogers was in there, too, as the Hydra Stomper. Even Bucky Barnes was in there, and I'm like, dude, I freaking love this! But I'm not sure how I like the ending. Well, it's the first episode, so who knows what's going to happen come next episode. And another trend on Disney Plus that's going on right now is this new one called Monsters at Work. It's a uh, variety with Monsters, Inc., and it actually started after um, 
if you watched Monsters, Inc., the first movie, this is almost like a continuation after that. Not Monsters University, but Monsters, Inc. itself. So, honestly, there's been a whole lot of new things that have been coming out on Disney Plus as far as all the, the these shows that we just mentioned right now. But I don't know if there's really any newer ones. Other I mean, than- I don't... I haven't really been keeping track. Uh, the only new movies that I know of that are on Disney Plus are ones like Cruella, Cruella and uh, yeah, Black I... Widow. Both of them have pre- premium access. Mm-hmm. I did see Black Widow, though, a few weeks ago. That's still in theaters. Though. Yeah, I saw it, though. I but... wanted to see it. It's just... I just haven't... Well, I just haven't had time, and I thought it was on Disney Plus. Premium but... access, so you gotta pay which extra. I, which I don't have. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm not paying extra to watch it. I really <laughs> did want to see Cruella. But like I said, I'm not paying extra to see it. But no, Black Widow was actually really, really good. There are a few bits and pieces that I wasn't, like, totally liking. But, like, the majority of the film was pretty cool. There was just something about it that made it very different from the rest of the Marvel films. Mm -hmm. And a little inconsistent with, like, the flow of time. But it was very strong and progressive through Black Widow's storyline. And it dove very deep into her backstory. And it was just absolutely amazing. Scarlett Johansson did a great job in Florence, who plays Elena. Oh my god, I love that woman! She did such a good job. She was hilarious! Literally, I've never laughed that hard watching a Marvel movie. Ever! It was hilarious! Well then, I guess I know what I have to get to. Yeah, no shit. Go watch that freaking movie! (laughs) Oh, really? Who am I going... Like, what... You you already said it's on Disney Plus Premium, and both you and me will... It's still in theaters! I'll go watch it a second time! Well then, we'll have to see about that one. Hey. I will agree to that one. Anyway, uh, so, aside from Disney Plus, so another couple other shows, if you... If you're... If you have Hulu and everything, a couple of shows that I've been watching so far, um, I just... I finished, um, Assassination Classroom about a couple of weeks ago. Oh, how the, was it? it? I'm sorry? How was it? It was actually pretty good. But, I mean, I'm not putting any spoilers or anything about that. Of course, if you've already seen the whole series, then you know what it is. But for those who haven't seen it just yet, I won't say anything. But I I will just say that Koro Sensei is... There, there's just no words for how great of a teacher he <laughs> is. I mean, he's... And he's, he's very quick. He knows everything. He's very smart. You know, you can't... Uh, like... No one could replace that, you know? And it's just sad because, you know, over time, they've had, um... Like, I, I thought there would be a season three, but after I saw the what had happened toward the end of the series, you know, like, oh, well, now I know why. But, I mean, Assassination Classroom, if you're an anime fan or if you're just starting to get into anime, if you want to start watching that one, that one's a great one to start off with. And then with a couple other shows, you know, you're... All the other anime shows are on Hulu. There's a whole lot of ones. I mean, there's like uh, Demon Slayer, Which Black is great. Clo- Black Clover, um, what was it? Um, Attack on Titan, um, Parasite. So, I mean, any anime you could find on Hulu, go ahead and watch it. And if you will, like, the more that you watch anime shows, like, the more shows you want to watch and see, because that's how I've been, like, I wasn't a huge giant fan with anime until... You met me. <laughs> the, that, well, that part, too, because with, with Ruby and stuff, but then after what, I mean, when I have Hulu, like, Assassination Classroom was being featured, and I thought, oh, well, this, this actually sounds like a nice show, so I went ahead and watched it, and... Then, of course, now here I am telling you about how much I did like it. And I'm still trying to get a hold of with Attack on Titan. That's what I was going to start a- after. Attack on Titan is not the best anime to begin watching if like you've sure. never seen one before. Because if you sure. have to have a stomach for it. Oh, yeah. But I applaud you for trying. I made the mistake of having it be the first anime I ever watched. And I could barely get past the first few episodes because of how gory it was. It wasn't too bad at the beginning of at at least not that i think and the more that i watch it it's like okay so how much of this is going to continue to go on and then um i just watched the first episode of black clover and it was actually not bad i thought i think black clover will be a good series but i just can't guarantee that i'm going to finish it all right away like i did with assassination 
it's just Assassination Classroom was just so like attention getting that I didn't want to stop watching. I mean, I would even want be watching it at work because I liked it so much. And I'm, I even tried, started watching it over again because I because it's just a very nice episode and just the way that they made that it's there's just no comparison. I mean, there's comparisons to all the other animes, but this one to start off with me, I would say it's. I'd say start off with Assassination Classroom first, probably before you go to any other anime show. Yeah, um, I have not seen Assassination Classroom. I do plan on watching it, uh, because I finished the other animes that I watch, I'm watching, except for My Hero Academia, because any weebs listening to this don't hate me, but I do prefer to listen to it in English rather than with the dub, because, I mean, with the subtitles, sorry. Yeah, Just because I'm enough. very bad at paying attention to reading and then watching what's going on behind me. So, I think I'm going to wait until that comes out. But I think I'm going to start on Assassination Classroom. As for Black Clover, I started watching that a while ago on Crunchyroll. <laughs> but my problem is is that I watched it with subtitles. And Asta just bugged the absolute crap out of me. Because all he did was yell. 24-7, all he does is sure. yell. And then I don't know what he sounds like in English. Because I've only seen like two episodes in English. There was a there was one on Hulu. I th- I think you were watching it. Oh, crap. What was it? Gate. No. There was one that I started watching at first, and it didn't have the. I mean, it had subtitles, but it didn't have, um, like there wasn't an English version. It was all, like the other language. I mean, it had the subtitles. I forgot what. It, uh, I can't. I don't think Death it. Oh. Let me see, cause there's <laughs> a, cause you all know, uh, you all know that I am a fan of Amelie, and I've been listening to a lot of her music, and it's, um, it's been. I mean, I I really do like her music. Don't get me wrong, it, and she has so many anime songs. Let me see if I could find the one that I did like. It I was... liked her adaptation to the closing song to season three of Attack on Did Station. you know that she played the two sisters in Ruby? I did. I did. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to tell you, and I keep forgetting to ask, but, um, yeah, she... She's I, pretty cool. I'm surprised she doesn't have um, more songs for uh, them. Uh, Death Parade. I said that one. Death Parade, yeah. I, I thought you said Gate. I did, but I also said Death Parade. Oh. Death Parade was one of the other few animes that I first started getting into because when I first started watching anime, it was twelve. It was a twelve episode seasons. Um, that made no sense. Sword Art. Sword Art Online. I. I started watching it on Netflix, but I just didn't like it, so I kind of stopped watching it. Yeah, that, don't I mean, hate me, weebs who listen to this. I know, don't don't hate me for that. Yeah. But I just didn't like it. And speaking with Amelie, she just had a new uh, song come out, and um, we were we actually listened to it before we started recording this one, and it was I I've been listening to it nonstop since. So, whenever a new song comes out, I just really just can't stop listening to it. Like listening to it while I'm at work, while I listen to it at the gym, in the car. You know, it's always. And then there was Link. So, but, um, why he's barking again, I don't know, but we'll, we won't. We'll figure it out later. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. But, um, and, um, I just want to mention too that, um, I know this will be on, uh, iTunes podcasts and stuff later on today, but, um, if you want, if you ever listen to the YouTube version of this, so back a couple months ago, I had a couple prints, uh, signed and everything by our favorite... Ruby actor Barbara Dunkelman and if you follow me on Instagram you know that um, you know the prints that I've been uh, holding on to well I mean I've been holding on to the one but uh, he was saving it for me because I, was I was so saving, to get it yeah I was saving this one because uh, it was personalized to say CJRT Media long story short we love Barbara Dunkelman yeah. I lost my shit when I saw this thing yeah and we have a, we have another print hanging up on your wall next to your Amelie autograph picture. Yeah, I had one um, from signed from Amelie as well. Yeah, If but, you follow me on Instagram, you know that one too. Because uh, when you ordered this print, you also ordered uh, another one, a picture of Yang in her third trimester outfit. Yeah. I uh, wanted to put it, like, if you know the banner behind me, like, that's the same picture as that one. Yeah. I, I just don't have anywhere where anybody can see it. That's the only place <laughs> where I could put it. Uh, but, I mean, you have the, I have the other Ruby poster right there, but that doesn't match 
that one, so I have to do some reno- rearranging and stuff. Next time she does an autograph signing, you gotta let me know ahead of time so I can order myself some prints, because literally, I will lose... All of my crap if I actually have an autograph photo, an autographed poster from Barbara Dunkelman. I'm a total fangirl. No, I'm I, I'm I sorry, I can't help it. She's number two on my celebrity crush list, so don't hate me. <laughs> but I mean, she wrote your name on that one, though. I know, so. which is why I wrote my shit. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, isn't there, don't you have like a video or something of her saying not, it to uh, us? Not, not, I had the one for Amelie. The one for the, Amelie. Because when, cause we ordered, when I ordered the prints, I ordered them from Streamly. And you can personalize it and stuff, but I guess if you're a uh, member of theirs, you have to, um, they, like, they'll mention you on, because they'll mention you in their video when they're signing it, because um, I guess that's what Barbara did, but at the time, I wasn't a member, yeah. so she didn't mention, she only mentioned the first people that got it, even though I was one, but I wasn't a member, so how how they do that, it's it's something else, so... But either way, like, we got that and got another print. I'm going to try and get a different frame because the frame that I got was a little big, so... It was a... Some... It's a Bumblebee photo, which is yeah. the new one that you got, which, as everybody who listens to the show knows, is our favorite ship from Ruby, just yeah. because... So, so but uh, making long story short, we are running a little on time, but I wanted to just mention, though, like... Back to when we were talking about Hulu, if you watch Rick and Morty, you know that their one-hour season finale isn't going to be until September, so I'm seeing a lot of posts with everybody complaining. It's like, oh, well, like, like we have the season finale coming up, but it's not until September 5th. Oh, well, I mean, now we got to wait. I'm okay with that, because it gives me some time to actually watch the show, because I have not been keeping up with Rick and Morty. Don't hate me. It's all right. But if I had known that they were, like, this close into it, I would have been like, oh, Frick yeah, let's watch all this. We'll binge it right yeah. here, right now. Yeah, and then there's um, your your you told me about this show. Um, Archer, they're starting the new one. Um, the, I think the week before Labor Day. So, I, uh, I'm waiting for the new Archer series to come out. I was watching Archer before you came over, and uh. it. That, that show, I always have to tell people, that one's always so funny. You love Archer so much, you were spouting off Archer quotes while we were doing <laughs> our presets, and then you also posted a picture of Archer <laughs> on our Instagram page. Hey, can you believe me? <laughs> nah, not really. Archer's hey, I, well, I hadn't, posted, I hadn't posted much on, on the page in a while, because we haven't done shows in a while, so I hey. figured, hey, well, I needed something, so... Let's, see, let's just show people, you know, hey, uh, we're still alive, we're still... You know, me and Jill, we're still close. We're, we're still, still talking. Kicking. We're good. And I think we'll be going on this for a while. Of course, you all know, also, to finish up with RTX, you know, the RTX at Home just ended a little, a couple of weeks ago. And I was watching a couple of, uh, I did watch a few panels. I only watched, I mean, I watched the Ruby panel. You know, the new song from uh, Casey Lee Williams' Friend. That one just came out. I love that song. And uh, they had a couple other new Ruby uh I, I meant to show you, I don't know if you've seen them too, they had tiki glasses of each uh, character of Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. I'll have to show you when we've done this. Oh, but, I didn't know that. But uh, I remember them talking about it last year, and I I was wondering when they were going to do that, and now they finally have it. Now they're available. So we'll have to see what how that goes. Speaking of Ruby, I actually did see this on TikTok a few weeks ago. It's a teaser trailer for... Volume 9? Yeah, for Volume 9. They, you saw it. Right? They you showed it. it they showed it on the panel. They only showed, like, the beginning of it. So the way that me and you, I think we said it a couple weeks ago, like, how when Ruby ended, what we expect to see. So, Yang we'll just see. nearly half dead. Not gonna lie, I don't know why I'm hoping for that, because, like, all right, I know that Yang has had, she's had her fair show of near-death experiences. Blake's been stabbed. Uh, Weiss has been ran through with a spear. Ruby's been almost kidnapped multiple times, but I don't know why. I feel like seeing one of our main characters that close to death, especially after being, like, having, like, such a traumatic exit from the show at the end of the season, I feel like it's just, like, something to, like, conclude all that dramatic effect. I don't know. Maybe the creators of the show are just being assholes and they're throwing us through the ringer. (laughs) <laughs> oh well we'll have to just wait and see i mean i know it'll be volume nine will be coming out soon I mean, but even before volume nine you know we were all still waiting for the for the full album for 
volume eight to come out, but I know that uh, Casey Williams and all them, they had family ish family things going on. So they keep on posting, you know, hey, just bear with us, you know, we're, we'll get it, we'll be getting it out once we're comfortable getting it out, which I don't blame them, but as long as, the, but they got Friend out, and I was waiting for that song to come out, so. Also, uh, you said that you were, you pre-ordered the new uh, Torchwick comic, yep, right? Yep, yep, the pre the new uh, Roman Torchwick comic that's on Amazon, the pre-orders are going out now. I just, I, I actually ordered something, it was actually already in my cart, and when I had ordered my other thing, I accidentally, I mean, I, I wasn't going to order it just at that time, but I ended up hitting order and and get it up getting it so <laughs> but they I said that one won't it. that one won't be till september and my birthday is next month so maybe it'll be around hope maybe it'll be delivered around that time <laughs> who knows but we'll uh we'll have to see how that rolls around and I'm, we got i got a new yang book and it's weird too because the book is backwards if you know what i mean if you Manga have style yeah so uh we'll just see how that goes so but anyway we are out of time and we would really like to thank you for listening to us this is our first show back in a while we've just had so many different things going on at once hopefully we'll get more more shows out now that fall's going to be coming up soon and we have a lot of events going on and me and joe were just talking about like we got um we got our trip to off not to Austin. Yeah, yeah we Austin, got a trip yeah. to Austin coming up. We have a possible trip to Disney World coming up soon, hopefully. Let's hope. And, uh, uh, yeah. and I mean, that's what we're planning for next, coming up next year. But I do want to just mention, too, like, there's hockey that's coming back. The Toledo Walleyes are going to be coming back. That team is the best team that I can think of. Anybody who listens to in Ohio, you got in Toledo, you guys know that how much I love the Toledo Walleyes. I I cannot stress out enough that ga- that team is so fun to watch. <laughs> I, I I keep on getting test messages for pre-sale tickets, so we'll probably be down there maybe around pre-sale weekend. Who knows? One last thing before we go, I want to give a shout out to my old friend Samantha Linzetta for getting engaged literally like last night during a Lions game. Uh, Samantha Linzetta, she is a cheerleader for the Detroit Lions, and last night during the game, during the Lions' first pregame. Preseason game. I can't talk to you. Wow. Uh, Sam was proposed to by her incredible boyfriend, now fiancé. And I am just so happy for them. And it's actually very exciting because tomorrow I'm going to her sister's baby shower. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. So, yeah. Congratulations to the happy couple. Also, welcome back to everyone who's been listening. Thank everyone who's bared with us this long. And we hope you all have a nice day, or a nice night, or whenever the hell you're listening to It's a Saturday night. We're going to go out and celebrate. (laughs) Hey, (laughs) it's a Saturday night. What do you do on a Saturday night? (laughs) I don't know. I have no life. I sit at home. How do you think I feel? (laughs) All right, y'all. All righty. Thank you all for listening. We'll talk to you all next weekend. I'm Chandler. I'm Jill. See you later.